Hello there, welcome to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this one we're going to take a look at a a very small canister filter which mounts on the back of a tank so it's kind of a hybrid of a canister filter and a hang on the back filter this one is the Oase Filto Smart 60 now a while back I did take a look at the biggest version of this range which was the 300 and whilst I wasn't super impressed with it, it was okay. Uh, I think we managed to get a reasonable amount of media inside it and it would function as a canister filter. This one is just too small, too expensive, uh, and too messy really. It just, oh God, I don't know. I was reluctant to take this one because I'd already looked it up online and I knew it was pretty small and Matthew who sent me this said well you know just take a look at it and see what you think so I did just in the interest of getting it into this series but as soon as I had a look at it it's well let's take a look that is how this thing is meant to be mounted on the back of a tank and as you can see from the picture <laughs> Even in Oasis' own picture, the pipes are an absolute mess. Now before I get to cursing this thing to within an inch of its life, I will say that the Biomaster range that Oasis have produced is amongst my favourite range of filters. That is a one that they designed from the ground up. This is a one that they took from Eden and basically just tweaked a little bit to make it look like an Oase filter. It's not one of their own designs and it is, well, you can tell that it just hasn't been thought about very much. They should drop this range of filters as far as I'm concerned. Oase are a premium brand and this is just not a premium filter, although 47 pound 50 for this tiny little filter which hangs on the back that's a premium price for something that just simply isn't a premium filter because it's so damn small I'll bring the camera right in so we can take a look at how Oase think you should set this up or maybe it's how Eden think you should set this up right not to be all negative things I do like about this is the easy remove cap to fill it up with water for when you set this thing away so that it's it's full before you actually plug it in and set the pump away um, the in and out are fixed again that's well don't know whether that's a plus or a minus the release for the head is quite easy you just slide that one that way and that one that way and then you can take the head off I'll just point out that that is the in and that is the out and the pump head sits in here all right so in there we've basically got two compartments this one would be filled with a very small hard ceramic ring which is where the intake comes in now generally ceramic rings would be used where the biological side of things was expected to happen but in this case it's more just to trap the muck before it goes underneath this removable plate to this side where the foam would act kind of as your biological side of things before the pump which sits under here would draw the water out and spit it back to your tank. Now this little pipe here is to draw any air into the pump so you don't get any air locks or anything. Now that's quite a good feature because you'd be amazed at the amount of canister filters that don't have that and they get a problem with air locks and you know pumps farting air out back into the tank. Okay so that's what's supplied with the filter two little bags of ceramic filter media which is very similar to the stuff that Oase do which the no, not Oase sorry um, Eheim do which is the Eheim mech which I've often used in the bottom of standard canister filters to trap the heavy muck this does the same job 
but you would be expected to fill the whole of this side of the container with this media, which is a bit of a waste. You would get biological activity there, but not much. So I'm not even gonna take that out of the bag. Where the foam draws water out, you've got a big intake tube, which is perforated, which is good. That means that when it draws water in through the foam, it draws it in from everywhere. So that's good, but you normally, you would only care about that if there was a lot of muck here. And most of the muck is gonna be caught in here. So what we're gonna do with this is take the foam off, get rid of that. Take that intake pipe off, get rid of that. You can see that's where the pump draws in. As long as there's no bits of media sticking in here that gets stuck in the impeller, we're gonna be good. And in this side where the water tips into, we're gonna basically put a big coarse foam. And then in the other side, we're gonna put some filter media. That's pretty much all you can do with this sort of setup because it is very limited. Now I had a big lump of foam from some random filter that somebody sent me. So I've cut that. Ideally, you know, it wouldn't have a hole in there going all the way through but it'll still be okay. That goes flat to the bottom. So when the water tips into here, you've got a reasonably big surface to contact against and a quite a coarse foam to catch all the muck before it goes underneath and into the media chamber. So that just sits in there. The intake from your tank tips it into here. So you've got a bit of a space here for the water to collect and trap the muck before it goes through, down to the bottom and up through your media. This is very similar to what they've done with the bigger versions of this filter range. And I'm not quite sure why they haven't done it with this one. It just makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> and then in this chamber where the water flows up from the bottom, We've got a 300 gram bag of bio gravel, which fits into there perfectly. That's about all we can get in there in a bag and have it easily removable for cleaning. And then our top just goes back on. That's it, like so. Now 300 grams of filter media in something that costs, you know, close to 50 English pounds is pretty poor especially when you've got the likes of the all pond solutions hob-500 which we took a look at in a previous video and i'll put the link to that in the video description and pinned comment that one held over a kilo of the bio gravel it fit perfectly on the back of a tank you didn't have tubes all over the place the fittings were great on it um, and the flow rate was more than this thing and I think it was only 23, 24 English pounds so it was roughly half the price of this if I was going to recommend a small hang on the back filter it would 100% be the All Pond Solutions HOB500 check out the link in the video description that is the one you want if you want something that is basically a canister filter that hangs on the back if you want something bigger than that then the tidal range from CK or CCAM is a very good range of filters they're really well made I'll put the links to the various videos I've done on them in the video description as well because they hold plenty of media and are much more easily accessible compared to this it's gonna sound harsh especially for the people who are Oase fans but this to me is just a total waste of time I would not recommend this filter at all. Uh, I just don't know why Oasi have persisted with this, especially at the price. I mean, they're, they're literally just trading off their name. They do always run a premium range of products, which in this case would be the Biomaster, and a not so premium range of products, which in this case would be the Filto Smart filters, which this one is the smallest of the range. Uh, I'll just avoid the cheaper range altogether. 
go with the BioMaster range of canister filters if you want something from Awazi that sits outside the tank. They will cost more than this, but they've got an easy clean function. They shift plenty of water and they're just excellent filters you know i mean i've had a look at the 600 and the 850 again i'll put the links to those in the video description now this one only produces 300 liters an hour and even like a small competitors hang on the back filter which would be roughly the same size would be doing 400 500 liters an hour um i didn't really want to take a look at this filter i mean i'm glad i did and i'm glad that I'm kind of warning you off it but it's not gonna endear me to the fanboys not many of my videos actually do endear me to fanboys because I've got no allegiances as far as manufacturers go you know I just go with whatever is best and this is not good at all now we've managed to get 300 grams of media in that would well, it would make it suitable for a tank 30 to 40 litres and in US gallons that is now displayed along the bottom there. And that picture I showed you before of it hanging on the back, um, apparently the little cradle that holds the filter to enable it to hang on the back is sold separately. So by the time you sit this down underneath your tank or even at the side of your tank it's going to be pumping absolutely bugger all I cannot believe that's sold separately I, I thought Matt had just forgot to put it in the box you know everything else is in the box and I won't even get the fittings out because the crap that makes this thing even more disappointing you can't even use it as a hang on the back filter unless you buy something else separately so this is probably going to cost you the best part of 60 quid the way it comes set up from the manufacturer and then you've got to you know do something similar to what i've done in this video to get it to actually function properly as a filter it biomaster filters a big hit from awazi excellent the pond gear excellent filter smart range of filters from awazi are crap they're not good at all avoid and you know, I said before, I don't have any allegiances to companies, but I dealt with Awazi for close to 25 years. So I do have a little bit of a soft spot for them because I know that they're capable of making excellent products, but because this one isn't really one of their products, uh, I cannot get behind it at all. It's just not. This may have an Awazi box. This is not an Awazi product. If you have any filters, that you would like me to take a look at by all means get in touch phone is best my details are in the video description or email if you're scared of using the phone <laughs> again that is in the video description um there's not many filters now that i haven't taken a look at and please don't ask me to take a look at any more in the filter smart range from wazi because it isn't good, I will say no. Now, in the course of this series, I have taken a look at a more than a few filters which have just been made in China and sold under various names, and they've actually impressed me. This one comes from a German company that has a really, really good reputation for quality and value as well. This is neither quality nor value. So it's a big no. I think I've said that before. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.